right, guys, we're going to go ahead and do the reflective text assignment. Um, first thing we're going to do is create a new document. Uh, we're going to start it with inches this time, not pixels. It is going to be six inches in width and four inches in height. Make sure that the resolution is 300 uh, pixels per inch. We will go ahead and create that document. And there it is. I'm going to go ahead and um, unlock that layer. I always like to unlock that layer. And obviously, we need to change uh, the white background to black. So we're going to go to the edit, edit in the menu bar way at the top. We're going to go to fill. And with this fill um, mode, we can fill a foreground color, background color. We can do a pattern, a history. We can pick any colors we want. But we're just going to pick black for this one. We're going to hit OK. And it's kind of the same as uh, just painting it or whatever. Um, but fill is going to fill the entire layer. OK, it's not going to be uh, affected if you use the paint bucket and there were other pixels there. Um, they would obviously get in the way. But the fill completes fills the whole layer um, without uh, any uh, barricades, so to speak. So what we're going to do now is we're going to select use the select tool, the text tool, excuse me. And we're going to go to the options bar and you can see at the options bar we can select the font, uh, the style, the size. Um, and the alignment and also the color. You want to make sure the color is red like the one in the assignment. You can pick any color you'd like. It's not a problem. And I'm going to pick the Jill Sands text. Gil Sands, excuse me, MT text. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and type uh, right there on the middle. I'm going to, in all caps, reflection. Okay. Now, once you've done that, you can enlarge it. And which what we're going to do is we're going to go to edit and transform. Go to scale. You're just going to pull the corner there for the size that you want it. You go ahead and stop there. Kind of align it right about here. Since we're going to be uh, reflecting it, we're going to have another one underneath um, that mirrors that uh, that text layer. Um, so we have our background layer, which is black background layer, and then our text layer. And we're not going to need to rasterize this one. Um, because we're going to duplicate it, uh, and everything we're going to do is to the next one. So we're going to hit Control-J or Command-J to duplicate that layer, and you'll see now we have two of them. Uh, remember, when you duplicate a layer with Control or Command-J, it du duplicates it exactly, so it is exactly in the same position as well. That's why it doesn't look like it's on your canvas, but it is in your Layers panel, okay? Uh, from there, we're going to go to Edit, Transform, and we're going to flip it vertically because we want to add, create that mirror uh, reflection look. And you can already see I've flipped it. And it looks funny because there is actually two of them now, but one is upside down. And I'm going to go ahead and do Control uh, T or Command T. And I'm just going to use the keys on my keyboard as it stays perfectly in alignment. And I'm just going to go as far as I can. You want them to be, no, you don't want a black little line in the middle. You want them to be touching, just barely touching, so that there's no, it looks like there's a continual, a continuation of the letter. Because remember, it looks like it's resting on a mirrored surface. Okay. And they're going to hit check. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to rasterize this text because we're going to, uh, we're going to uh, create a perspective. Uh, transformation. We're going to change its perspective so it looks like it's coming at us to give it a more realistic look. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to right click and rasterize the type. Okay. And then I'm going to hit control or command T. I'm going to right click and I'm going to hit perspective. Now the cool thing about perspective is you just have to pull one of the corners outward like this. Like so. OK, um, from here, we can also uh, scale it. And you're just going to, excuse me, where I went, you're going to hold. What did I do here? Well, let's start that one over. Whoop. OK, so we're going to go to Control T. And we're going to do the perspective like so. Pull the corner out like that. And then I'm also going to go ahead and hit scale. And you're just going to pull, pull this 
so it kind of stretches it a little bit so it's coming towards you like that so you can see how i have that nice little um looks like it's resting on a mirrored surface but how are we going to get that nice fade is what we're going to do is we're going to add a layer mask to that layer and use the gradient tool the gradient tool is awesome it um is a fill tool, but it creates a gradual blend between colors. So black and white, red to blue, and whatever one you decide. We did see the gradient tool in the last assignment. Um, so here we're gonna use it on the layer mask. So we're gonna just use black to white. Um, first thing I'm gonna do is add that layer mask. That layer mask is right here on the bottom of the layers panel. It is two from the left. So you have your link layer, your layer style, and then your layer mask, and we're going to add that. So all the effects, all the um, any changes we're going to make are going to be made to that layer mask, and that's really what the point of that layer mask is. So I'm going to collect, select my gradient uh, tool, go up to the options bar here, and there are several different gradient styles. There's the linear gradient, which is the one we're going to use. There's a radial gradient, which radiates outward in a spherical uh, motion, in a in a circular motion like a sunburst. Or um, there is a, a angular. There's also the uh, reflective and the uh, diamond gradient but we're going to pick the first one which is linear and to change the colors in that gradient you just click right here it's a gradient picker or editor and i'm going to change the colors here this one's already black and then here on these little tabs that's how you change colors but mine's already black to white and this tab here kind of dictates how uh, harsh that gradient is so i'm just going to pull it a little bit you don't have to the default is fine and you hit okay now the gradient, make sure that your layer mask is selected and you're just gonna click in the middle of the text layer reflection right here and you're gonna drag it down and you can see how that gradient created an awesome, uh, an awesome uh, fade in that reflection word. So you get that nice effect that the word reflection is actually on a mirrored surface and then that, uh, the reflection is fading out towards you. And this is a great little effect that people use on uh, car commercials. You'll see it a lot. Uh, you'll see it in um, uh, jewelry ads and things like that. It's a really nice, discreet, and it's a simple but effective effect. So I hope you enjoyed the reflection text. Once you're done with it, you're just going to go File, Save As, Save onto your computer. You're going to title it Reflection. PSD and make sure to always keep it as a Photoshop document, guys. And you hit save. I'll replace it, of course. And I hope uh, you enjoyed the reflective text. And I hope you have a great one.